Hey everyone, it's Jeff from Crowded Learning and today in this quick video I'm going to show you how to create an account in Skillblocks. So what you see right here is the Crowded Learning homepage and you will see that there is a tab in the menu up here for Skillblocks. Now the URL for Skillblocks is skillblocks.org but I do encourage you to check back to the site uh, because we do pro post updates quite frequently on here um, with new webinars and trainings on how to use Skillblocks. Uh, scrolling down, you'll see there's a button here to launch Skillblocks, and this is going to bring me to the login page. You will see two sides. I am a student, which is where a student would enter an access code that you give them for a skill block that you've created. And then on the teacher side, you have this uh, login screen as well. So I'm going to click on sign up because I do not have an account. And it's going to ask me for just a few details. So I enter my name. I'm going to enter a fake email address because I've already got an account on mine and create a password. Whoops. And then click sign up. Uh, don't save. And now you're going to see there's a, just a few bits of profile information that you were asked for. Uh, this is entirely for us to understand how this tool is being used by instructors. And so we're just asking for location. I don't know why that didn't select. Here we go. Perfect. And now I'm going to indicate my role. I'm just going to say that I am a teacher and not an instructional designer, but a curriculum developer. And I will say that I teach both um, ABE and ASE. And then the last question you're asked to answer is the estimated number of students you serve. I'm going to say 50, submit, and that's it. I have now created uh, my teacher account in Skillblocks.